So what is going on everybody, welcome back to another Zombies video, thank you all for tuning in, thank you all for the support I've been getting, but today we have another musical easter egg within Gorod Karuvi. We have the Ace of Spades, we have the main one which is called Dead Ended, we have another one which I can't believe, or I can't remember what it's called right now, but we also have this one which is Samantha's, I wouldn't call it Samantha's lullaby, but uh, something to do with Samantha, definitely her theme tune, I don't know, whatever it's called, I will leave it in the title of this video. But to Today, I'm going to be showing you how you can get it because it's a lot different than your usual easter egg. Now I would recommend doing it with more than one player as it's going to be easier but it's definitely manageable to do on your own but it is a bit tedious to do and honestly it took me hours to get this done just restarting it over and over again because it can be very annoying but anyway if you do enjoy the video remember to leave a like rating and let's get into it. So before you begin with the easter egg what you are going to need is the monkey bombs and you then want to throw one monkey bomb in the dragon's fire. Every time a dragon breathes fire into a location, you want to throw a monkey bomb into the fire and you will then hear it scream. Similar to how you could in Doris and Samantha's hide and seek easter egg when you threw the monkey in the fire and it would scream. What you want to do on Garad Karovi is once again throw the monkey in the dragon's fire. So whenever a dragon lands in a location and sets that area in flames, you then want to quickly throw your monkey bomb in that area, you will hear it scream and you need to do this a total of three times. So like me, once you've done the first one move on to another location as soon as you see a dragon land throw your monkey bomb into that fire and as i said do this a total number of three times what you don't want to do is throw your monkey bomb down before the fire has hit the ground because it won't work you need to make sure the ground is fully set alight first just to make sure that you don't waste your monkey bombs because you can't actually do all of this easter egg on one round but anyway once you've thrown all three monkeys into three different fire locations you should hear a quote from your character rick often says this <laughs> to bag two symbols together, would the undead be drawn to me? Goodbye, monkey! Should we warn him of what will happen? No, I don't think so. That would be a terrible idea. Imagine. If Monkey's song was the last music you ever heard. What you now want to do is go up to the small grave in the starting area and you will see Samantha's doll, the same doll that we saw in the musical box in Do Eyes of Drache, this version of Samantha that we saw come out of the MPD pyramid, you will see her lying on the floor in front of this grave. You want to hold the interactive button on her, she will then disappear with a blue flame and what you now have to do is find that doll hidden in different locations around the map. And when you find it, shoot at it, and the doll will then move on to a different location. Now, I'm not exactly sure how many times you have to find the doll. The first time I went to do this, I thought it would be the usual three locations. So I know it's definitely more than three times you have to find the doll. It may be four or five. I don't exactly know because it took me multiple games to do this. Like I said, it's easier to do it on co-op. That way, you can all spread out because this is actually on a timer. So if you're not quick enough, the doll is going to reset and you're going to have to start again. So anyway, here's how to do it. So like I said, activate the doll in front of Samantha's grave and you now have a set time to find the first location. The locations are random and as far as I know, as far as I saw, there are about 20 different locations that you have to go to. I'm going to show you as many as I can in this game, but the best way to find where the doll is located because they're very small and difficult to see is to listen because a lullaby plays in the location as to where they are. So if you hear music around that area, that means the doll is somewhere around there. The best weapon I would use is the ray gun because the splash damage off it, if you don't exactly hit that location as to where it is, chances are the splash damage is going to get it. Simply, this is trial and error. It's going to take you a few times to do, definitely. You just go around the map, finding these locations of these dolls, shooting them, and moving on to the next location. You will know you've got all of them when you hear an activation noise from Samantha. When you've got them, you can go back to the grave in the starting area, and you will now see Samantha's doll start to spin around in front of the grave. Just press the activation button on it. It's going to give you a free power-up. For me, it was a max ammo, and musical easter egg will then start to play. And that's simply how you do it. So if I show you a few locations of where the doll can spawn, hopefully this is going to help you out, but I know there are a lot more that I didn't find. So the first one can be located on top of this pole in the starting room. I know there can also be another location just under the staircase here. I'm not exactly sure, but somewhere around here, possibly on top of that bed. Also, under the staircase, actually upside down, her doll will also be spinning 
in around this area. So like I said, this is the starting room area where it could spawn. And if it spawns here, you are going to hear the little tune. If you don't hear the tune, then chances are it's not here. Just quickly move on to a different location because you have to be as quick as possible. If you also come down to the infirmary inside of the bus here, I believe the doll also spawns. I'm not exactly sure as to the exact location, but I know it's somewhere around and in that bus. It may be underneath it. There's also another spawn location right back here through the window sitting just on the wood there you will see the doll spinning and then if you also come to the back of here on top of these boxes where the german symbol is the doll will also be up there as well just a tip for you guys if you know the doll is around this location if you can hear the music around this area but can't exactly see it if you wait here as soon as the time expires the doll the location as to where it was will actually glow up blue and disappear if you see this blue glow you now know that that is a spawn location as to where it could be you can actually also see this through walls so if you're in the exact location, if you're maybe next door, if you see this blue glow through the wall, then that is where the doll was. And you now know that's a spawn location. You have to look next time. Thank you for watching, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Drop a like rating if you have. This was such a tedious thing to do, but it's definitely something awesome to listen to. So I'm going to play this song for you now. Hopefully you all enjoy, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.